So what I thought we would do is just a quick video. Uh, done a little upgrade again to the laser. Uh, I had the CW3000, which a lot of people have. Um, you can use it for chilling your spindle on your CNC, and a lot of people have the CW3000 for using on their laser, which is it's fine, uh, but it's not actually, it's, called, it's, it's a cooler. It's, it's, it's just got basically a 120 mil, I think it is, fan on the back, which just blows air onto the air container. Um, let me just turn this off a minute while I uh, let's turn that off for the noise. So the free uh, the CW three thousand is just a sort of cooler. It just blows. Um, it's just got a big fan on the back, which just blows air onto the water container to try and keep it cool, which is fine until you get weather like this now in in England, where the workshop is melting at sort of 36 degrees centigrade and the ambient air is then too hot to to cool the cool the water at all so i was having problems with the um chiller and the water in the, the laser just getting too hot and it was going to damage the tube so i didn't really want to spend out on a new chiller uh, they're not cheap this one was um 630 pounds off of amazon but from cloudray uh this is sort of their new one their cw5200 sna do that do their version but i like the look of this one and it was a bit newer so i've gone with that so i just thought to give you a quick video for some of the some tips for, with the setup um and some things to consider that the manual isn't terrible so the manual's here it's not terrible, but it is like your typical sort of Chinese manufactured manual. So it's got all the sort of settings in it that you can do, etc. But it doesn't explain that easily how to set it up. You can just leave it running straight out the box as it is. But as it is, when it comes standard, it is set into, just pull this little bit of film off, look, I ain't done that yet. There we go, get that off there. So when it comes in the box, or new, it comes set in intelligent mode. Now, you think intelligent mode was good, but for me, it wasn't what I needed. Um, so this is the intelligent mode here. So it comes as standard set to intelligent mode, and what that does is it keeps the temperature of the water, um, whatever you set it to but as standard I think it's three degrees plus or three degrees minus whatever the ambient air temperature in the room is so on some occasions that would obviously be fine but for me like I said it's been 36 degrees in here I don't want it to be anywhere near that I want to be keeping the the laser tube down down near sort of 20 20 what down in the lower 20s um, so I straight away realized that wasn't going to work for me having the intelligent um, control mode on so you need to change it over to use constant temperature and then you'll get this one here which is constant temperature you set the temperatures you want it to be and it will then just either bring on the chiller to keep it to bring it down or if it was too cold it puts on the heater to, to, to warm the water up uh, so I'm going to show you how to put that into the um, constant temperature mode and then before I turn it on because of the noise um, it's not too noisy when it's once it's at temperature it's fine but when when the um, the chiller has to come on it it does uh, it, it is a bit noisier you've got your sort of side latches you can take off here this panel and then in there you can see an actual proper chiller unit you know like your fridge there's a proper chiller unit in there which comes on and chills the water rather than just blowing ambient air over it so I'm impressed with it now I've got it up and running it keeps the temperature it really works well to keep the temperature down um, the other thing just to consider which I hadn't fully considered before was I don't know if you can see but my laser on the side at the back there it has I'll show you right there At the back there where the power socket goes in 
it has two more like redundant sockets. They're basically auxiliary power sockets. So using these wires here, you, you've got two sockets on the back. One that was one that originally powered the pond pump. So you, you had the pond pump, as soon as you turned the laser on, the, the pond pump would come on. And then the second one, as soon as you turn the laser on, it would power up the um, old, old cooler chiller, the CW3000, um, which is fine when you're using the CW3000, which is just blowing a little tiny fan. But this one, obviously, when it's hot and it's got to come in, come in to cool the water down, it pull, it draws a lot more power. Um, so you need to have this on its own independent plug socket. You, uh, I've had, I had it on my laser and it popped the fuse because as soon as it got, as soon as it went into chiller mode and it had to bring the temperature right down, it, it drew too many amps from the uh, from the machine and popped the fuse in the plug. So it's best to run it off its own power cord due to the power draw and I've just got it now I've just sort of the lasers plugged in one and then I've got the chiller plugged in next to it so that's just one thing to consider um, and then what I'll do is I'll show you how you change the mode to constant temperature so we turn it on so we can see here that the temperature I've asked it to stay at constant is 21 and the water in there is currently 26.6 degrees so if you want to, like I say, this will be the light, the uh, intelligent light that will be on when you first get it. Now to change that, what you have to do is you have to hold the up arrow and then the set. You hold that. And in a minute it should come up with, so it's come up now saying pass, password. Uh, the password, the default password for these machines is 8. So what you do is you come, you change that up to 8 and then you push the reset button which is also like the confirm button so you push that oh no okay sorry we push set again so you push the set button and now what it's done is it's, bringing, it's brought us into all the um, additional functions so the, the function that changes it from intelligent to constant temperature is function 3 so function 3 if it's on 0 it's in constant temperature I'll show you if it's on, see that, it changes. If it's on one, it's on intelligent temperature. So you just change that to zero, set it, sorry, reset it. And now you'll hear it kicking in and it's gonna try and bring that temperature down from 26.6 down to 21. That's the sort of noise you're gonna get from it when it's got the compressor unit on trying to bring the temperature down. And then what you do is if you want to change the the temperature that you want it to go to, you literally just push the set button. So I've got it at 21, you push set, you can now change the temperature to whatever you want. You push the reset to confirm it, and that's now locked in at 21 degrees. And that's going to, uh, in a minute, that should start dropping. And then once it does get down to the temperature, it's obviously got quite a bit of work to do to bring that down. Uh, but once it once it gets it down then and the, the compressor chiller unit's on it does maintain the temperature really well uh, so yeah that's how you change it over from being on the intelligent temperature mode over to constant personally i much prefer that i think the constant is a much better option uh, just keep your water nice and cool stop prolongs the life of the tube and uh like I say, if you ever want to change it back, so all you've got to remember is the password. You hold the up arrow, push this, hold the set button, wait till it comes up with passwords. Default password is 8. Push set again. And then this is all your additional functions. And then if you go into the book, it does show you what the function codes mean. So here's your... Can go through here and you can see it should say F3 control mode there. Range of the inputs is zero or one. One is the default and you can change it. And it if I can get it in focus, it says one is intelligent mode and zero is constant. So I have it on constant. Uh, whether I might tweak some of these settings a bit more, uh, some of these other ones as I go on. But so far, um, so far I'm pleased with uh, what it's been doing and yeah this is uh so it's 
another little upgrade on the laser and I hope that helps someone because I couldn't find many videos or information on this really online. So if that helps, uh, drop a like, subscribe and um, see you all again soon.